Will you be attending Moses' this way? Did you not invite me? <laughs> eh, dating a guy, you both love each other, but he's broke and proud. Why is he broke and proud? <laughs> Why is he broke and proud? When it comes to men, I am dull. I am such a lover girl. Like, I am so stupid. If I love a man, I love a man. Were you afraid of getting married quite early? What would you recommend for acne and hyperpigmentation, budget friendly? Claire's, you guys. Claire's vitamin C serum. How did you and your husband meet? And how did you know it was the one? How did I know it was the one? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm shooting. Yes, I'm shooting. And I know what you want, and I'm not going to do it. I can't stop my video for this. Leave me alone, please. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria. If this is your first time watching, welcome. And if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time, how far? So today we're going to be doing a q and I I have always wanted to do a Q&A, but then I just feel like they are very lengthy videos. And if you know me and my channel, you know I don't like anything that's lengthy. I hate long videos, but I'm just going to do it today because I feel like it's going to be interesting. Uh, please, how do you, how do I know if a guy is right for me and loves me? Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not the one to be asking, like, to answer this type of questions because... <laughs> When it comes to men, I am dull. I am such a lover girl. Like I am so stupid. If I love a man, I love a man. Prior to my husband, I have seen Shege in the hands of men. Not Shege Shege. But men that just treat me like nobody said they really like you. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I've really seen that kind of like have I've had that kind of treatment from men where it's like with or without you, we are fine. Like you get so i can't really say i'm like good at having like an idea of when a man likes you because anyway moving on please my edges are gone like gone gone what do you recommend so i checked on tiktok and then there's this very popular hair cream that is going viral chapter 2000 i'll probably recommend that because the evidences seem very like true and yeah, I think you should probably try that. I think the reason why it's really growing people's hair out is because it has sulfur. Sulfur is like scientifically proven to grow your hair. So you might want to try using sulfur. Or if you, if you don't even want to use the um, chapter 2000, you can just get like a sulfur cream and try it. Hey, we, I'm not recommending anything to you. I, I, I beg you in the name of God, please. Please, if I go and put myself in trouble, go and put something on their hair now, their hair will be doing some more. I use the name of, see, do your research, please, I use the name of God to beg you. I'm just saying this is what I know. I have never have, ha, I, hmm. I, have, <laughs> I have never had like edges problem, like my edges are fine, they are good, like I don't really have that problem, so I can't say from experience, but just what I have heard. What skincare do you use for your baby? I use CeraVe, is it here? I use CeraVe, the CeraVe baby lotion, that's what I use for my, both my babies. So, I swear by it, it's so good. Like, there was a time Jaden had like white patches on his face when it was like eight, like six months, five months. I tried everything. I tried shea butter. I tried, there was nothing I didn't try. It just wasn't going anywhere. Everybody was telling me, oh, try neem. Oh, try this leaf. BS. Guys, I bought CeraVe lotion. I don't even know why I bought it. I can't remember why. I bought the lotion. I started applying it. In like two weeks, I started seeing that the discoloration was reducing magically so i swear by i swear by sarah even though it's very expensive i just really like it how do you how can you get rid of the need for constant validation it's really hard i feel like human beings we really like thrive when we are validated but i think what you should be more concerned about is the people that matter and forget about people that don't matter if your family if the people you love if the people you uphold validate you I feel like you're good like you're fine but you shouldn't care what people who you don't even care about like care like think about you because at the end of the day like the truth is you don't even care about their opinion but because we are so self-absorbed it's all about us we want to like care what other people think of us because we want other people to think we're like but then the truth is 
what people think of you like it varies based on what their idea of like uh what's the word what their idea of proper human being etiquette is so perceptions and ideas of people like vary and it differs so it just matters what people around you who you care about and who care about you what they think because people's perception of you will like switch up every day like people just it mm, i can go on and on but yeah it shouldn't matter um also how do you manage a toddler and a newborn when you are irritation when you have when you feel irritation or mood swings I give them to their father honestly I give them to their father every time I start feeling the need to disappear like what <laughs> and this like feeling comes from time to time like I start feeling like I need a vacation like I need time out like sometimes Jaden will come to me crying weeping Jordan is also crying I'm just like I can't fling the both of you right now so I just called my husband. I'm like, please, can you take both of them? I want to just lie down. Please, any tips on how to get my baby to feed from a bottle? Even me, God, my baby no feed from a bottle. So me, I don't know. I really don't. Um, please, can you recommend a good breast feeding pump and feeding bottle range to buy? <sighs> I use the Komotomo. I use the Komotomo for Jaden. That's the feeding bottle. For breast pump, I use the Medela breast pump. I'll put pictures on here. And then I also use the Tommy TP breast pump. I like the Medela breast pump. I like that one. It's not bad. But the Tommy TP is also good. So it's more affordable because it's a manual pump. But I think either or, like, it's fine. Like, as far as you get the perfect flange, the smaller the flange, the better. If it's too big, it can hurt your nipple. Are you planning on having another child soon? And I love your videos. I wanted to have another child when I was pregnant with my second child. But, oh um, <sighs> no. I don't know to be honest with you I don't know like this might be it for me I'm really struggling <laughs> I'm struggling to be a wife I'm struggling to be a mom I'm struggling to be a content creator I'm struggling everywhere <laughs> so this might be it for me honestly what perfumes do you use they plenty of. I'll put a picture of some of them the ones I like some of my favorite perfumes I've been waiting for this. Please, what products do you use for your hair? It looks so nice. Oh my goodness. I'll just put a picture of my favorite... Okay, you know what? This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put a picture of my favorite moisturizers and my favorite gels. Okay? Because I feel like I'm gonna get this natural hair questions a lot. So I'll put those two products here and so that you guys can figure out which one is in your price budget, price range, price affordability and what works for you. So yeah. Did you enjoy your stay in Covenant University. I loved it. I loved it. I was telling my husband the other day that if not that we are here in Ghana and the probability of my sons going to a university here in Ghana is high, I would love for them to go to Covenant. It's a school that can traumatize you but then can also build you. Like it just it's such a hard school to go to. It's like going to secondary school but on steroids. But I just love the experience because it's something you'll never forget. So, yeah, I loved, I loved it. Um, how do you manage to maintain your beautiful face? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Um, hmm. If I say anything now, I go be pride. Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm. it's God. It's God. What skincare products did you use after delivery? I use the Sachi, Sachi, Sachi. I don't know the name to pronounce the name of their brand. Sachi Skin, Sachi Skincare products. I swear by them. I swear by them. They're quite expensive, but they are definitely worth it. I will spend my money on that product every single day. I swear by them. It's so good for hyperpigmentation. It's so good for evening out my skin. It's just perfect. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed to say the least. So I swear by Sachi Skin. I swear by Claire's. It's a Korean brand as well. I love it. I love their vitamin C serum. It's so good. So, yeah. Do you like it in Ghana? I love it in Ghana. It's actually quite a very nice country. It's just very expensive to stay in, but it's a lovely country. What makes you what makes you happy aside money and your family? What brings that smile to Maraji's face? Hmm. I like work. I like filming, I like editing, I, I like reading the Bible and understanding, oh, that brings such a joy, 
that I can never explain till I die. I love reading the Bible and it's speaking to me. I love that. I love going out and shopping, even if it's window shopping, I love doing that. Um, I love buying perfumes. So. <laughs> I love seeing my babies happy and jumping up and down. There's so many things and I love watching movies. I love watching movies, my goodness. Movies are so therapeutic. I love dancing. Uh, dancing is my... It's, it's next to my kids. <laughs> uh. What would you recommend for acne and hyperpigmentation budget friendly? Claire's, you guys. Claire's vitamin C serum. I hold it to like high esteem. It's so good. And what else would I recommend? It's actually, but it's not budget friendly at all. Koji San, Koji, 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 Koji San, that popular one. I used it when I was pregnant with, on my face because my face was getting so dark. I used it when I was pregnant on my face. I'm not using it again because my face is the same, it's one color now. So I don't need it. But yeah, I used it at least once a week when I was pregnant. So those two things. Okay. Did you use anything to achieve a fast labor, like drinking okra? Please share with us that we are pregnant. Guys, this is the thing. I think yeah, walking a lot helped me. I remember my 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 um, midwife, cause she I think she follows me on Instagram, and she was like, mm, I mean, if, she was like, I think your dancing helped you, cause the way my labor was so fast, it had to be something that I was doing right. So she was like, I think all those your dancing has really helped you because if you guys watched me while I was pregnant, you'll see that I was posting a lot of dance videos and even like without the camera watching or anything, I was still dancing a lot. So like I dance a lot. I make sure like I'm always on my feet. I make sure that I'm always walking. I was cooking all the time. You guys saw my vlogs. So I feel like that work kind of made my body strong and also eating dates i ate dates at my my third trimester and also took raspberry leaf tea so i think those things kind of helped me have a fast label and delivery so I'm shooting. yes i'm shooting and i know what you want and i'm not gonna do it <laughs> i can't stop my video for this leave me alone please what do you think i want you've locked yourself outside you can't enter how do you know because i've been hearing your car outside <laughs> Better go back to where you're coming from. I'm not opening the gate. What's your favorite chocolatey perfume? Ooh. Obviously, chocolate makes me happy. Not a question, but kindly do another list of interesting Indian movies to watch on Netflix. Ooh, sure, I'll do that. Um, do you have any plans to further your study? What did I do that give you the impression that education is my hobby? <laughs> what? Me? Further? I don't have plans of furthering my education. How did you and your husband meet and how did you know it was the one? How did I know it was the one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hair and skincare products. I already put the hair products, so I'm just going to put my skincare products here so that you guys have an idea of what I use. Not a question, but please share recipes of the foods you, you cook, please. Thank you. Alright, I will. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What eyebrow pencil do you use? So I use a combination of mascara. So I use mascara to kind of brush my brows first so that it makes it dark and then I like line it with whatever brow pens which which hey which which is usually black i used i used to use brown before but i feel like black makes my face more prominent than a brown like like pencil so are you exclusively breastfeeding if you are are you using breast pump no i'm not using breast pump and i'm exclusively breastfeeding so just my boobs no pumps no uh, bottle he's not taking any bottle so I'm just using my breasts. Um, did you ever speak, see yourself becoming a YouTuber? Fun fact, right? Fun fact. YouTube was what I started doing before skits. Like, if you followed me back, way back then, when I blew up on um, 
musically which is now called tiktok when i blew up on musically i um, started youtube so i started vlogging i started you know talking about different things and stuff that was my hobby like that was my that was my love skits was more like what i found out people liked it was almost as if it was like oh you guys find me funny that was how i got into skits i never thought i was a funny person i just wanted to always talk in front of the camera that was just what i've always wanted to do and then i think one day i posted a funny video just by chance i can't remember what video it was and then people loved it like the engagement was crazy i had like ten thousand comments and before i used to have like maybe 500 comments i was like you think i'm funny trump or biden trump 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 have you have you heard biden would you come to visit in america how much do people think i have my account because every day marriage please come to the uk marriage please come to sweden marriage please come to jamaica how much do you think i have in my account hmm? i'll drop my num my account number <laughs> Who could I help me? <laughs> I'm tired, honestly. What's your newborn's name? Jordan. His name is Jordan. Can you recommend the best camera and other gadgets for new content creators? New. Honestly, I've only ever used a Canon and a Lumix. That's a Panasonic camera. I use the Lumix G7 and I have used the Canon 70D and I've also used the Canon EOS R5. This is my most expensive camera. It cost me about 3 million naira. They're about to buy. So that's the cameras I have used. This is my best camera. It has the best quality. Uh, my Lumix G7 was also amazing. For a long time I was using that camera and everybody loved the quality of that camera and it's a very inexpensive camera. So I'll definitely recommend my Lumix G7. Um, how old are you now? I am 27. Do you have a full time table in your house or you cook whatever you, whatever you feel like? I cook whatever I feel like, guys, whatever it is. And I'm also like very conscious of what I eat, so I don't take too much sugar. I'm very conscious of the oil I use. I'm that kind of person. Can I say I know you from the parts of social media I see on... Can I say I know you from the parts of you I see on social media? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I am... A lot of me is what I put on social media because one thing about me is I don't know how to be fake. I don't know. I don't even know how to lie, especially to people. Though. Every time I see people that lie or fake on social media, I'm just like, why Why talk? You might as well just keep quiet. Don't talk. So I'm that kind of person. Like, I'm very honest, too honest to even like to be very honest with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm very honest, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm really honest. So you guys say you know me because, yeah, yeah. Given the opportunity to, re to rewind the clock, would you still have a parlor wedding? 100%! 100! Every day, all day. In fact, I will even, I will even like, tell my kids that, see, if you love this girl and you want to marry her, and you can't afford a big wedding, just marry her in the parlor. Let's get it done quickly. Honestly, like I feel like parlor weddings are amazing. How do you deal with trolls? P.S. I love you so much and you're doing an amazing work. Oh, thank you so much. Um, this is what I think, right? I feel like not everybody can like you. Me, I don't like everybody. Even some people that are very popular and like everybody loves, um, they are not my favorites, right? So I don't think everybody can like me. You need to just get over yourself. I think like that's one of the things about social media. You need to get over yourself. Once you get over the fact that you are not the best thing since bread and butter, you'll be fine. Uh, how do you manage being a content creator? He's the grace of God. Even me, God, I don't know. I guess you, I guess brown is your favorite color. Yeah, it is. Hey, you shared you shared about having PCOS. I want to know how you felt ap after being diagnosed. I was scared. I was very scared. I was very scared that I might not be able to have kids. Cause it, I have two kids now that I didn't plan for. I didn't plan for any of them. <laughs> so yeah, God is good. I started the ginger beer after your video and I want to know how long you keep your bulk for. Three, three to four days usually because of the weather. Because our, our weather is very hot so it will get the, you know, the ginger bulk working. Were you afraid of getting married quite early? No, I wasn't. I just know that, yeah, I just trust my husband a lot so 
I wasn't afraid of getting married to him because yeah, I just I just know him a lot. Like, uh, oh, I'm 14 months postpartum and I'm struggling with low self-esteem because of my body. What do I do? This is the thing, yeah. Just get new clothes number one. Don't try to fit in your old clothes. You see these trousers I'm wearing? I told my mom to send it. I told my mom to send it from Lagos because I, I don't have money right now. So I told her to, these are old clothes that I have because I used to be a lot fatter before. So I told her to send it so that I can wear because I'm tired of trying to fit into my old clothes. So I feel so confident in this trouser because it just is bigger than me. So it makes me feel skinny. So get new clothes and also reduce your sugar intake. Like I promise you, without exercise, you will drop. I have lost 3 kg without doing exercise. Like I'm just breastfeeding, no exercise, and I'm eating no sugar. Like no, I'm not taking any biscuits, no drinks, no, like I'm not using sugar for anything at all. I only eat real fruits. If I'm craving sugar, I'll go and take um, orange or tangerine or banana or like just cut out sugar completely i promise you you will see that you start dropping if even if you don't drop fast but slowly you'll be seeing that your body is like you are dropping in size so also your oils don't use like if you can use coconut oil it will be very helpful i don't like the smell but just try coconut oil and see how long did it take you to get well known and famous when i tell you that me becoming famous was like not in my hands it was just god that's the truth like i didn't even plan on getting famous i was just doing my videos on musically and it blew up it just bled. like i'm not even talking nigerians it was abroad people the video was like over five million views it was huge so yeah it was god how did you handle pcos and conceiving did you do metformin or clomid no i didn't i recommended vitex berry because it really helped me when I was, even before I got married, like I didn't used to see my period for like three months, four months. But then when I started taking Vitex Berry, chef's kiss, like my period started coming every month, like it was constant. So I, I really swear by Vitex Berry. It, I feel like it really works. It worked for me. So yeah. Where exactly are you from? I mean, what state of origin? I am from Edo State. What's your favorite Ghanaian food? I like Banku and tilapia and I also like Wachi. Without Gary, please. That's just nasty behavior to be adding Gary to beans. How do you make money? Uh, I make money on YouTube. I make money on YouTube and I make money from doing ads for brands. What affordable supplements can you recommend for somebody with PCOS? It don't cost. <laughs> I will recommend Vitex Berry. Like, if that is the only supplement you can get, sister get that one just get that one that, that one is effective i don't want you to go and start buying different different things just buy vitex berry like they are different i'll put two pictures of vitex berry this one is expensive this one is very affordable so get the affordable one trust me they do the same thing in my opinion just get the one that you can afford you have never responded to my dms at all it's been years but why oh i'm so sorry guys my dm is too full it gave me anxiety i'm not even kidding like i get anxiety opening my dm because it's plenty and i feel very anxious because i feel like there's so many people that need my attention at the same time it stresses me i'm not even going to lie i'm so sorry please what did you study in school i studied international relations please can you talk talk more about childbirthing currently pregnant and it's my first time like things i can do about to help label first thing i already said this before but make sure you're always like working exercise don't just lie down somewhere and just chill um yeah make sure that you're always active make sure your body is ready because labor is a long process it's very like stressful on the body so you want to make sure that your body is ready physically for labor so you want to make sure you're doing your exercise you are dancing even if you can't do exercise just dance from time to time dance be on your feet if you are cooking just stand don't lazy around try your best not to just be slouching somewhere and make sure you're always sitting straight and not like slouching or you know try to sit up because it helps baby be in optimal position um what else make sure you're eating your dates your raspberry uh, leaf tea uh, yeah i hear that people also drink your crow water i didn't drink your crow water but you can also try that to see if it helps so what did you add to your stew 
cause your skin hair please i want to know <laughs> that's funny i know you're very successful in your field how did you mind a man that's comfortable with that my husband doesn't care how much i have in my account he doesn't care like he has never cared he's never been intimidated by me in his entire life that man is so confident in himself that's one thing i love about him so yeah do your kids have middle names or you don't fancy that yeah my kids have middle names my Jaden's middle name is Ace. Ace OG. then and jordan's middle name is tovia so yeah so much oh, what app do you use to edit your videos final cut pro baby baby please can you come and help me change my camera my battery it's dead um did you ever think you were gonna marry somebody that was in nigeria or you've always i guess you, uh, your question is did i think i was gonna marry a Ghanaian? no but yeah i never thought i was gonna marry Ghanaian. i've always wanted to marry a nigerian i even have like specific places i wanted to marry either a like a delta a doe because i feel like i wanted that you know pigeon still in our lineage <laughs> so i wanted either a doe or delta are you happy about the lgbt bill recently passed in ghana first and foremost that's the least of the problems that we have right now in this country prices of things are going on <laughs> I don't know, that's the least of my concern. Like, I really do not care. I don't care, honestly. It doesn't bother me. me. I just want my life to be better financially. What can I do to induce labor as a first time mom? Me, I took castor oil, it didn't work. Co work. And I tried a midwife's brew. So, the midwife's brew is actually the only thing I think worked. Or oh, it might have been a coincidence. Like, I really can't put my finger on these things because. Yeah, I took it like almost a day interval before I went into labor. So I don't know if it worked, but you can Google midwife's brew and maybe try it out. But make sure you are at least, at least 38, close to 39 weeks. Because you want your baby to like fully have developed their liver and everything so that they have a lower risk of jaundice. I like your vulnerability. How do you keep up with fame? As much as I love content creation, like I love the art, I love talking to people that I don't know. I love being able to be me without feeling any sense of judgment. I don't like fame. I don't at all. I feel like it always makes me feel like somebody's looking at me. I can't be myself in public. I'm always feeling like, ugh, do they think my head is too big? Do they think my eyes too small? So I don't really like fame like that. Well, I love, I love my work. Would you be attending Moses this way? Did you not invite me? <laughs> I didn't attend the wedding, they didn't invite me. Can you put they invite me now for go? Shoge, but they didn't invite me. You see everybody here, yeah, marriage, you don't collaborate. They don't call me. <laughs> they don't call me. Can you put they call me now? She will not go. She will not go. How do I get a fine Ghanaian husband like yours? Oh, you wanna take my husband from me? You wanna you wanna take my husband? <laughs> Do you have a nanny that takes care of Jaden or how do you manage to take care of the family? So Jaden goes to daycare sometimes, not all the time. So there are days he doesn't go, there are even months he doesn't go. But he goes to daycare. So today now he's, uh, he has gone to daycare because I wanted to shoot this video so I need space. Um, yeah, I don't have a nanny. I don't have anybody helping me. I'm the one doing everything. My husband and I really like are very hands-on. So usually when I cook, my husband washes the dishes, my husband baths Jaden, my husband feeds Jaden most of the time. I'm the one that takes care of Jordan because I'm breastfeeding and everything. So we just kind of find how to balance everything. Are you Calvinist? I heard a, I heard a, a rumor, sorry. I am. I am. <laughs> it's just part of me that I don't like to talk about because I just don't like people coming to come and explain to me why I shouldn't be Calvinist. But... I am Calvinist. Now, I don't even try to say I'm a Calvinist or so I'm not a Calvinist. I'm a Christian, right? If you ask me what my views are on predestination, what my views are on sovereignty, I will now tell you, and those things might align with Calvinism. But to say, oh, I'm a Calvinist, or oh, I'm an Armenian, or I'm an American, at the end of the day, these things do not matter. Whether your theology or your idea of whether God is predestining you to heaven or not so this those things don't matter those things are not even the core part of christianity i don't think but yeah i am a calvinist if you care to know if you don't know what calvinism is do your own research do your research My favorite calvinist preachers are john piper rc's pro 
and PM Paul Washer. Where did you serve in Lagos? Where did you where did you do your NYC in Lagos? I did why why <laughs> so that I can get Lagos. <laughs> do you have to eat like a horse to get enough breast milk? No, you don't. You just need to eat well. That's one thing I've realized. That's one thing I have realized second time breastfeeding is that you don't need to eat too much. You just need to eat well. So what I mean by eating well is eat good food. Eat your avocado. Eat healthy food. Make sure you're eating like coconuts. Eat bananas. Eat like healthy things. Eat your oats. Don't eat rubbish. Like eat your protein. Eat, you know, tear your chicken. Eat eggs. Boil your eggs. Eat it fry some make some scrambled eggs like as far as you're eating healthy your breast milk will come but if you are just pouring in like rubbish you just be adding unnecessary weights and the breast milk will still remain the same because yeah it needs shift it won't shift in value did you ever pursue any other career before you started making skate no because i started making skate um music please from covenant university when i was in 400 level and i blew up like just before i went for nyc so I literally just continued like that. What are your views on early marriage? If you find somebody that you really like, you, you people have the same core values, you people believe the same things, and if they are very rooted in God, like you can tell this person loves God, and they have people they are accountable to, because when they mess up, you want to talk to people that can talk to them. Yeah, I don't I don't see any problem with early marriage at all. Whether early, whether late, so if you want to mess up, you go mess up. So yeah. Marriage, when did you start your work with Christ? I think in 2018 I can't put in I can't put a date to it but in 2018 Christ literally took me he stole me he stole my heart like I I always say this thing I don't think you can give your life to Christ he takes it he takes it it's not a choice you make it's a choice he makes because prior to being like a Christian I've always been a Christian does that make sense I've always gone to church I've always I went to Covenant University so I was always around church I was always hearing these things I even used to, I always make fun of people that were like very spiritual I'd be like oh spirit cuckoo we that what we used to call them like for somebody that used to make fun of them to becoming that person it wasn't a choice I made it just it literally happened like all of a sudden, I just realized that it was God or nothing. Are you serious? How did you cope in your first year of marriage? Because I'm in my first year of marriage and I'm almost losing it. Ha! Huh. I hear that it's hard for people in their first year, but I don't think it was hard for me in my first year. It's like my second year, I'm going to be my third year of marriage this year. But my second year of marriage was where like, we had our first fight. And... Yay! Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, how are you able to manage nipple pain from breastfeeding? This is one thing I know. If you are breastfeeding your baby, you want to make sure that the baby, the baby is not sucking from the nipple. The baby is sucking from the areola, right? Because if the baby is pulling your nipple, it will pain you. You need to make sure the baby is latched on your breast and not just like the nipple, on the whole breast. Your baby's mouth should be latched well so that you don't have nipple pain. That's really important. I love you. I love you too, Genchi266. Did you grow up as a reformer? No, I didn't grow up as a reformer. I don't even think of myself as reformed. Honestly, I'm just, I just hold some values that reformed people hold, but I wouldn't consider myself reformed or anything. I'm, I'm just a Calvinist who happens to follow a lot of reformed accounts, but I didn't grow up as a reformed. I grew up as a Pentecostal. What's your take on a lady getting married to a guy that she's not physically attracted to? Ooh, I don't support to. Me, I like to look at my husband and be like, mm, yeah. <laughs> like, I love the way my husband looks. I like his face. I like his head. I like him. There are parts of him that obviously I might not like thoroughly, but overall i love the way my husband looks i love his face i love everything about him about him so i think you should marry somebody you're attracted to physically yeah you should you should they, even if they are not fine to other people they should be fine to you like that's the most important because the truth is not everybody's going to find you attractive but the, your person should find you attractive so i think you should you should find the person you're marrying attractive attractive you, yeah i don't support marrying person where you know you know even care for in face a bego. Which is harder, taking care of a baby or a toddler? To a baby, a newborn is harder. <laughs> Toddlers are quite easy. 
because at least they understand English and they can talk. <laughs> I beg, babies are harder. Please drop more skits. You will always be my number one. Oh, thanks, Ayo. I really appreciate that. Are you considering doing skits again? Yeah, definitely. I will. Is eh, me? I love making skits because it's almost it's almost like I'm making a movie. So I love it. I love it. What prenatal so, um, supplements did you use? I'm gonna put a picture right here. Do you think you'll be coming back to Nigeria? Probably if I feel like Ghana is not working for me. Like if it's just getting every day the expensive, the expensive the more. I might move back to Nigeria. Have you ever thought about acting? Of course. Of course. You guys, I love acting. Acting is my love. But just because of some so one of the things that I, I don't like is that whenever I'm, I get roles for acting, it's always comedy. And I hate that. I hate that. I'm not a comedian. I just like making skits because I love filmmaking. Like making movies and editing is my passion. But I don't like when they give me roles and they want me to be a comedian. I am not a comedian. I just create content that makes people laugh. I trust me, it's, it's two different things. Okay? So every time I get roles for acting, it's always comedy. And I just don't like that. So I always reject them. Because I'm not a comedian. I'm sorry. So if I get a proper acting role in the future, 100%. One that doesn't need me kissing anybody though. I ain't gonna kiss nobody with these lips, honey. Ain't nobody getting these lips. Only my husband. is for my husband only. I'm very sorry. Oh, my king day. Oh, I want to know you more. You are so sweet. Let's go to see that man now. <laughs> ah. Eh? Dating a guy, you both love each other, but he's broke and proud. Why is he broke and proud? <laughs> Why is he broke and proud? Uh -uh. Broke and proud. It's only one, it's one thing if he's broke. Okay, say, so okay, maybe tomorrow routines could change. Broke and proud. You know, just have money. You can't also get pride to join. Most of the questions are hey, 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 skin, 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 hey, 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 skin, 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 hey, 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 hey. Where have you find that your shawarma recipe? Are you sabi? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll post the link. I'm joking. Ghana or Nigeria any day. Let me tell you, I'm a proud Niger girl. Like, I feel like one of the things I'm proudest of, proudest for, that makes me carry my head up high is the fact that I'm Nigerian. I can't even explain it. But being Nigeria anywhere in the world is a different kind of brag. Quote me anyway. There's just this kind of feeling of being Nigerian. Because people don't go even feel near you. They don't really talk to you anyhow because they know say you have a different kind of Chris. I love it. I love it about us. So yeah, um, that's it, you guys. That's most of the questions is hey, hey, hey. How do you attract the type of man you want? I don't know. I'm not happy yet. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope I was able to answer most of your questions. I'm so sorry if this video was too long, but yeah, my, my camera wants to die. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it as well. It's too long, but yes, please share it. Just post it on your WhatsApp status. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Is this love that I